but it looks like a brilliant day for some fossil hunting. I've come down with Shay, he's just gone ahead on the beach to have a look for some fossils and I've come over here just to show you how rough the tide is today. Not long ago it was raining really heavily but currently the storm has cleared up so we thought why not have a look and see what we can find. Given that it's been such a rough sea there's a pretty nice chance that loads of fresh fossils have been deposited onto the beach. Looks absolutely stunning. Let's hope the storm doesn't come back and start raining on us. But either way, we're going to have a really good day today. Right, I'm going to head back along and go and meet up with Shay and see if he's started finding any fossils yet. A little bit of a nodule there, the eroded ammonite. Pretty much onto the beach now. Can't wait to start having a look for some fossils myself. There we are. Just seen an ammonite fossil there in the sand as I've been walking along. Can you see where the fossil is? Get a little bit closer. It's actually two ammonite fossils in shot here. This one right next to my hand here. You can see the edge of a 180 million year old ammonite right there. And there's another ammonite just here. Quite eroded, but if we remove this limestone, it will certainly be a complete ammonite further within. I've just spotted up here, it's an absolutely huge piece of fossilized tree. Look at that. That entire nodule is a huge part of a Jurassic tree tree fossil. That is crazy. I wonder how heavy this entire lump of tree would be and I wonder where the rest of the tree actually is. Could be scattered along the beach, could even be buried many meters below the sand. That's a really cool find. Shay's just up ahead. I've almost reached him now. Let's go and meet up with him. Well I've made it to Shea now and it's actually started raining again. Hopefully we're not about to get caught in a really big storm. I can already see on this boulder there's a few fossils that he's found. But let's ask him and see if he's found anything else. Huh? You managed to find much then? I've got, I've got a few nice bits. If you have a look down by my bag, this is what I've managed to find so far. You can see I've got some nice ammonites here. Some of the nodules have already split open and I've taped them together to keep them protected. And a few of the other nodules I haven't split open yet because I was waiting to show you on camera. If you have a look, a couple of these, but some really nice Dactyloceros ammonites. I've got this nodule here with an eroded edge of an ammonite and I gave it a little tap with the hammer and inside there was this beautiful Dactyloceros ammonite. You can see there it's split perfect all the way down to the centre. It's a pretty nice example. And then I've also got a nodule here which has been quite pirateized, but I gave it a few taps and inside it's got multiple grass isle ammonites. So if we just get a closer look, you can see that there's lots and lots of small ammonites just starting to become exposed. I didn't want to do any more work with the hammer because some of the ammonites were looking quite fragile. You can see a lot of the ammonites there are calcified, which means they shatter quite easily. So we'll take this one home. And this is one which could look really nice once it's been prepared with the tools at home. Let's split open those couple of nodules which we haven't split open yet. And then we'll have a look in the pebbles and see if we can find anything else. I'm just going to put my safety glasses on. It's been very wet and rainy today, so my glasses are quite wet. See there's been just a bit of a fall there. Just goes to show that you shouldn't go too close to the cliffs because it's very unpredictable and they do fall quite regularly. There we are, I'll put these on. Let's split those two nodules. This one down here looks good. You can actually see on this nodule there's some quite large ammonites which have eroded away. They're just partials unfortunately, but at one point they've been really large. This looks like a really nice one. I'll just give it a few gentle taps with the chisel side first, just to create a nice little groove. I think with this one actually, I'm just gonna go get my chisel and we'll split it with the hammer and chisel. There we are. 
We always bring a variety of tools just so we can use different methods for different fossils. Not all of them behave the same way. This one, however, looks like it should be splittable with the hammer and chisel. There we are, we've got a split. Let's have a little look inside. Oh, and it's split perfectly. You can see there where the ammonite's been exposed to the elements. And unfortunately, because it was quite soft, that edge has broken away. But the rest of the ammonite inside, which has been protected by the limestone, is still perfect. This next one looks like we should be able to split it open with just the hammer, so let's get straight to it. So you can see that the majority of the ammonite is now exposed. There's just the tiny cap of limestone covering the center. It's another one we'll be able to take home and prepare with the finer tools. Now let's have a look amongst some of the pebbles and see if we can find some more to split open. There's lots and lots of pebbles exposed today. The past few tides, it's been completely covered in sand. So it's pretty exciting because we don't know what we're going to find. I'm hoping because of the rough seas and the bad weather that we've had, there'll be some fresh nodules and they should just be laid on the beach stones. So let's have a look. And I've spotted one very suspicious candidate. So let's have a look at it. There's a lovely nodule here. And already I can actually see an ammonite inside. If you look closely just there, you can see the ribbing of what looks to be a tenucostatum ammonite. So quite a finely ribbed type of dactyloceros, which is pretty cool. Be excited to split that one open. Let's see if we can find any more in this area. Oh, there's an ammonite just down here. You can see this one's been in the sea for a little bit longer. Some of the outer detail has been worn away. There's another nodule down here which I actually walked past. So I'll see if you guys can spot it first. It's just in this patch of stones in this area. So you can see that there's lots of limestone, lots of grey rocks. But you're looking for one that's roughly the palm size of your hand. And nice and round. Sometimes you have to leave it to your imagination and just imagine what could be in each stone and whether or not it looks like it's going to be a likely candidate to actually contain something. So the nodule is this one here. You can see it's lovely and round. Awesome. Another one to keep hold of and we'll split those in a little bit. In this patch of stones here, there's another really nicely rounded rock Slightly larger than the one that I've just picked up. Let's see if you can spot it. A lot of the material looks exactly the same, so it's quite hard to differentiate between what's going to contain a fossil and what isn't. Okay, so it's actually this nodule just here. See, it's another perfect round rock. Slightly larger than the last one I picked up. I can already see another fossil. It's incredible, all these fossils just in this small area. Oh, and I can already see an ammonite in this one. You can see the edge. Just around there. Looks like it's going to be a lovely one, this one. So we've already picked up five ammonites there. I'm just going to maybe try and find a couple more and then we'll split them open. And I've spotted another one already. It's unbelievable. Again, I can actually see the ammonite in this one. Looks like it's a pretty nice specimen. There's a nodule just down here. Or at least I thought it was a nodule. But just from the weight of it, I can tell it's the wrong type of stone. But just ahead of this one, there is another perfect ammonite nodule. Again, spot the nodule. It's in this area. Have you spotted it yet? Again, it's another perfect nodule, roughly the palm size of, palm size of my hand. You can see I found that many that they're spilling out my hands. <laughs> So again, there's another perfect suspicious nodule. What an amazing haul that we found. Let's find a nice flat rock to work on and we'll crack them open. There we are, so we found a lovely flat rock. I always try and find a nodule or a stone that's more dense than the limestone itself. And that way, when you're splitting the nodules, the rock underneath doesn't absorb all of the power. I'll just put my safety glasses on now. Let's start with one where we know for a fact there's a fossil inside. There we are, we've got a perfect split. Let's reveal what's inside. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. That's a stunner. Wow. You see the lovely rich brown shell on it. Again, this is a Dactyloceros tenucostatum ammonite, which is why you've got these lovely, really fine ribs. 
the usual Dactyloceros ammonites that we find are either communes or athleticums, and the ribs are usually slightly further apart. Whereas this one, you can see they're really, really close together. It's a lovely, really finely detailed ammonite. Let's set that one to the side and see if we can split another one just as nice as that one. I think I'll go for one this time where I can't see anything around the edge of the nodule. A little bit more of a surprise. Got a little bit of a split, but hopefully this should reveal if there's anything inside. And there is. You can see a lovely tenucostatum ammonite again, just starting to become exposed. And now that we know where the ammonite is orientated within the nodule, we can try and split it roughly along the same line. Give it a few more taps. Put the persistence paid off. And it looks like we've got a lovely split. You can see there the ammonite specimen is gorgeous. If you look really closely, you can actually see the suture patterns the growth lines of the ammonite shell. Let's give this next one a go. And we have a split, and inside, another beautiful ammonite. Look at that. I'm really pleased with how these are turning out. Let's try another one where we can't see anything around the edge. Hopefully there's a nice big ammonite inside. And we've got a lovely split there. Oh, and it has, and I tell you what, <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, it's split perfect. You can see that the specimen is absolutely amazing. It's situated perfectly in the centre of the nodule as well. I and mean, that is just incredible. Let's try these next two. I'll try and split them both before the, the tide catches me. There we are. Oh, wow. We really are getting spoilt today. I mean, this is just such a lovely example. The impression's cracked, but that's not to worry about because it's not the actual fossil itself. Not looking forward to carrying all these up the cliff. <laughs> Got some really nice ones today. And let's try the last one. There we are. Another stunning tenucostatum ammonite. Oh, just in time with the waves as well. This one's pretty interesting actually. You can see where there's a bit of a calcite vein that's been running through the nodule and it's actually slightly distorted the ammonite itself. It's actually folded over it slightly. It's pretty unusual. So here are a few examples of the fossils that were split open today. Got some really, really nice examples of tenucostatum ammonites there. So all of these ammonites are roughly 185 million years old and we're the first person or the first people to actually see them fully exposed really is quite surreal. It's been such a lovely hunt today. I'm really over the moon with these fossils. Of course, even if we didn't find anything, it'd still be a lovely day out just to get some fresh air and all of the scenery. But this just makes it all that bit more worthwhile. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.